Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Shane Stokes breathing. Shane Stokes respiration is technically described as a breathing pattern, characterized by alternating apneas and tachypnea, with a crescendo-decrescendo pattern of tidal volume. In practice, what will be seen is a rhythmic waxing and waning of the depth of respiration. The patient breathes deeply for a short time and then breathes very shallowly or stops breathing altogether. The clinical sign can also be depicted on a polysomnogram. When looking at the flow, in the chest and abdomen leads, there is rhythmic movement, followed by an apnea. This is a picture of the polysomnogram. When looking at the flow, in the chest and abdomen leads, there is rhythmic movement, followed by an apnea. This Shane Stokes respiration is commonly caused by congestive heart failure, and stroke. Other less common causes are traumatic brain injury, brain tumors, carbon monoxide poisoning, and morphine administration. For its mechanism, it is due to underlying damage or changes to the brainstem respiratory center, which is responsible for involuntary respiration. In congestive heart failure, several metabolic changes that affect chemoreceptors, the autonomic nervous system, and the brainstem have been identified. Hypersensitivity of central chemoreceptors in the brainstem to changes in arterial blood carbon dioxide levels can lead to hyperventilation. This blowing off causes a significant drop in carbon dioxide levels, resulting in a central apnea. The apnea allows carbon dioxide to accumulate, stimulate respiratory drive, and start the cycle again. Hypoxemia due to lowered cardiac output and pulmonary congestion induces hyperventilation, leading to hypocapnia and an apnea. Hypoxemia and hypercapnia combine to increase the sensitivity of the central breathing center, and cause an imbalance in respiration. Heart enlargement and pulmonary congestion reduce pulmonary reservoirs of oxygen and carbon dioxide, especially during sleep, making the respiratory cycle more variable and less stable. With circulation delay, decreased cardiac output means it takes longer for oxygenated blood to reach peripheral chemoreceptors and help regulate ventilation. In contrast, the respiratory center in the medulla can sense changes in pH, and stimulate respiration to lower carbon dioxide immediately via the nervous system. The relatively slow feedback system of circulation means that changes to blood gas concentrations are often delayed and not truly representative, causing an under- or overactivation of respiration, and an ineffective feedback system to ventilatory regulation in the medulla. Increased levels of adrenaline have been seen in patients with CHF due to overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system. Adrenaline increases minute ventilation, thus potentially increasing the blowing off of carbon dioxide, causing hypocapnia and apnea. This is a flow chart showing the mechanism of Shane Stokes respiration. Hypersensitivity of chemoreceptors to carbon dioxide will cause hyperventilation to remove excess carbon dioxide. This causes hypocapnia and reduced respiratory drive, thus causing apnea. In congestive heart failure cases, there is reduced cardiac output and pulmonary congestion. This causes hypoxemia, which is low oxygen level. This activates the sympathetic drive and causes tachypnea and hyperventilation. It then leads to hypocapnia, reduced respiratory drive, and apnea again. Hence in Shane Stokes respiration, there is alternating apnea and tachypnea. For its sign value. A valuable sign, Shane Stokes breathing, is common in patients with an ejection fraction of less than 40%, and is seen in 50% of patients with CHF. Studies have shown that patients with heart failure who experience Shane Stokes breathing have a worse prognosis than those who do not. That's all for this video. Thank you.